Um, let's uh, take a look at the Domino's result though. Domino's uh, sliced its dividend 30% as full year net profit slides 60% to uh, $67 million due to weaker orders, but has flagged an improvement in earnings in the year ahead. Uh, Domino's saying margins and earnings were hurt by the decision to raise prices in order to protect against extraordinary inflation which led to fewer meals sold in response. So Chief Executive Don May uh, says the business will not be passing on those inflationary costs to customers through higher prices than FY24. Uh, still sales growth in Europe, Australia and New Zealand have started the new fiscal year reasonably strong with the company remaining cautiously optimistic depending on the speed of Asia returning to volume growth. So uh, uh, Don May uh, will be joining us very shortly to uh, give us his view and uh, and what shareholders can take out of it. The boss of Domino's up 7-8% this morning. Um, Andrew, what's your, your take out from, uh, from Don's chat then? Oh, and you know it's great that you're able to get all these CEOs on first, Koshy. So well done to you in that regard. But and I again, took I took really a leaf out of your book, asking when director transactions are going to be coming, because that's one of your big filters, isn't it? I, I, as soon as I as soon as you did that, I'm pointing at the screen, going, "Go, Koshy, stick it into him." <laughs> Go. So uh, well done. Thank I'm you for channeling your you. inner Andrew. Yes, exactly. Yes, thank you for channeling your inner Andrew. That's well done. A uh, few more things to pick up and I'll get you there by the end of the year, I'm sure. But um, <laughs> I, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I didn't really hear anything that alarmed me. So that right. was good. But, right. you know, in particular, that answer that he gave you around, you know, it was a really good question you asked about the margin thing. And I didn't really think the answer, his answer really answered the question. Yeah. All I got was... Yeah. Um, you know, our competitors are now starting to do it. But again, to my point before, what's the long-term strategy? This is yeah. all short-term stuff. So good yeah. interview yeah. from you, but yeah. Yeah, it doesn't change my point. Um, Henry, he says the likes of Uber Eats are one of the, the, uh, the big advantages of them at the moment. Yeah. The aggregators are uh, fast, fastest growing part of their business. Uh, yep, but if you can order good pizza or bad pizza, and it would get delivered. Which would you rather order? <laughs> All right, that's a brilliant. I rest, well, I, I rest my case. Well, I mean, if you're going to eat, if you're going to eat dodgy carbs, you might as well eat good dodgy carbs. <laughs> Depends if you like Domino's or not. But uh, anyhow, all right, okay.